Let's recap our first Wi-Fi performance experts corner where we talked about advertised Wi-Fi airspeed versus real world Wi-Fi speed and why they're so drastically different. Compared to wired full duplex ethernet, Wi-Fi is half duplex in nature, meaning it cannot send and receive data simultaneously. So advertised Wi-Fi airspeed is shared by uplink and downlink activity. And while wired ethernet is specified in terms of payload speed, Wi-Fi airspeed includes protocol overhead that can account for nearly 50% of the total transmission. Wi-Fi speed can decline further, even significantly so, depending on the utilization of the Wi-Fi network and environmental interference. That's why real-world wired ethernet speed matches its specification, while in the Wi-Fi world, real-world speed is typically just a fraction of the advertised airspeed. Up until now, the key focus of professional Wi-Fi network design has been minimizing channel interference to maximize real-world speeds. However, with the opening of the 6 GHz band, which triples total available Wi-Fi spectrum, a shift is taking place. New client devices that support 6 GHz, whether they're Wi-Fi 6E or 7, now have so much interference-free spectrum available that the traditional design focus of careful planning using narrow channel widths is being ushered away in favor of a new design philosophy that encourages wider spectrum utilization. Practically, this means deploying APs with 6 GHz radios to aggressively offload all 6 GHz capable client devices onto wider, interference-free channels in the new 6 GHz band. The introduction of Wi-Fi 7 further accelerates this trend towards maximum spectral utilization through three key new features. First is the doubling of maximum channel width from 160 MHz to 320 MHz. A single 320 MHz channel can deliver an insane 5.7 gigabits per second airspeed with just two spatial streams. That translates to real-world speeds that can saturate a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet link. Next is Multi-Link Operation, or MLO, which takes the concept of an AP's independent 2.4, 5, and 6 GHz radio channels and essentially creates a single, unified super channel by combining all of their spectrum together. Wi-Fi 7 clients can connect to this entire super channel across all three bands at once for massive bandwidth and impressive low latency performance. The third breakthrough is called puncturing, which allows this super channel to operate non-continuously and essentially notch out noisy interferes. When combined with MLO, puncturing provides ultimate high availability without any speed compromises, delivering a wired-like experience to Wi-Fi users. Unify offers multiple 6 GHz Wi-Fi design options. Our U6 Enterprise APs have 10 spatial streams for exceptional performance with both Wi-Fi 6 and 6E devices. And we just introduced Unify 7, starting with the U7 Pro. A 6 spatial stream AP, great for existing Wi-Fi 6 and 6E devices, while also future-proof to unlock the incredible benefits of Wi-Fi 7 as more Wi-Fi 7 client devices get connected. Ubiquity, rethinking IT.